Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how you can set up and use VS Code to make C++ programs. Some of you asked if that is possible and the answer is absolutely yes. So today I will show you a simple and easy way to do that. Now, as some of you already know, I personally use Visual Studio and there are a few reasons for this. Um, first of all, I have a free license for Visual Studio. I have a lifelong license from my university, but they made a mistake there. They probably thought she's going to live for 50 or 60 years, so let's give her a lifelong license. <laughs> what a mistake. As some of you already know, I'm a vegetarian and I lead a very healthy lifestyle. So if my calculations are correct, I'm going to live for 120 years and I plan to use this free license for my entire life because I paid for my university a lot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, I do have a free license, but this is not the reason why I use Visual Studio. Um, because of the nature of my work, I have to do a lot of code analyzing, a lot of performance testing. I have to use a lot of advanced development tools that VS Code does not have. So basically, I need an entire IDE for my work. But for tutorials, for learning purposes, uh, VS Code is going to be more than enough. So you can use that. And today I want to show you how you can set it up and use it to make C++ programs. And then I also want to share some tips on how I use artificial intelligence to help me code faster. I know that a lot of people think that AI is very complicated, but the tool that I want to show you is actually very simple and it is called Tab9. It is an AI completion tool, which means that it basically completes your code for you. And then it uses machine learning in order to learn about you and your coding style. So the more you use it, the more helpful it becomes. And I personally use it for C++ and then also for C Sharp and JavaScript, uh, because you can use it for all modern programs languages and the best thing is that if you're a student if you use this to learn and save some time while coding your girl has you covered <laughs> you can use this for free and then if you want to get some additional features customization and things like that you can get a pro plan and I will leave a link in the description so that you can check out all the details for yourself and then later I'm going to show you how you can install and use this tool to help you to code faster so that is what we will do in this video. And now I'm going to show you how to set up VS Code for C++. I'm going to explain every single step of this process so that you know what is happening. It's not going to be hard, it's very easy, but you will have to be careful uh, so that you don't make a mistake because then it is not going to work. Uh, so as you can see here, I have opened Visual Studio Code, and the first thing that we need to do is we need to install an extension for C and C++. So go to View, and then Extensions. Okay, and here I'm going to search for C++. <clears throat> and you need to install this one, so the one from Microsoft. It's C and C++ from Microsoft. I'm going to click Install here. Okay, and it is downloading and installing. Okay, perfect. So now after I have installed the extension for C++, the next step is to install a compiler. And this is because C++ is compiled language, which means that the code that you write and that is understandable to you is not understandable to your computer. It first needs to be translated or compiled into a language that your computer can understand. And for this, we use a compiler. You can find many different compilers that you can use online. The one that I will use is called MinGW and I will put the link that you can use to download it in the description. It is free so you can use that. So let's download our compiler and the download will start shortly after you open the link. Okay and after this installer is downloaded you are going to click it. So you should get a window like this one. Click Next. And then here for architecture, select the architecture of your computer. For me, that is 64. And then click Next again. And then this destination folder, I'm going to copy this text. So I'm going to select all of this text. So Control A and then Control C because we will need it later. And I will just paste it in a basic notepad file. Okay. 
and then click Next. And here it starts the downloading and installation process of your compiler. So I will be back once this is finished. So once the installation is finished, click Next and then Finish. And then third step is this path here that I told you we will need later. So now I'm going to copy this and what we need to do with this path is we need to put it inside our environment variables. So how you do that? Well, search on your windows for edit environment variables for your account and then open this. Okay, now here you will select this path and then click edit. And then here we will need to add the path that we just copied. So click new and then here I am going to paste this path. And then here we will need to append something else. I will put it on the screen and that is this text here. Okay, so once you have pasted everything it should look something like this. And then click OK and then OK here as well. And that should be it. If you have done everything correctly, everything should work perfectly. But if you want to make sure that you have installed your compiler successfully, what you can do is you can use your command prompt, which I will open now. And here you are going to type two commands that I will put on the screen as well. That is G++ version. Okay. And then GDB version like this. Okay, so if you don't don't get any error here, that means that everything is installed as it should be. But if you get an error here, make sure to go back to the previous step and go again through the installation process of your compiler and then make sure that the patch that we copied inside our environment variables is correct. Okay, so let's minimize this. And as I said, that is everything that you need in order to set up VS Code to write C++ programs. But one more thing that I promised is I want to show you how you can install and use Tab9 to help you to write faster. So for that, let's open their site. Okay, I'm going to put the link that you can use in the description. So click Get Tab9, it's free. And then here you are going to select your IDE. Uh, I'm going to select VS Code, okay, and here I'm going to click Install Now, and here it should ask you if you want to open this with Visual Studio Code, so make sure to select that, so I will say Open Visual Studio Code, and as you can see here we have uh, the extension that we need to install, so I will click Install and it should start installing it now. Now, one very important thing that I want to mention while this is installing is that um, if you're installing anything anything in Visual Studio Code, make sure to restart your Visual Studio Code after that because sometimes it just gets stuck and it doesn't even realize that something has been installed. So after we have installed this, I am going to close my Visual Studio Code. Okay, and then uh, let's also close this. Now one thing that I want to do is instead of opening Visual Studio Code manually is I will use this command prompt in order to make a directory where we will put all the files that we create for our program so that everything is organized as it should be. So here I'm going to create a folder, a directory, so I will use um, mk there. So make directory command in Windows and I will create a directory that is called first program like this. Okay. And then after you have created this folder, this directory, what I want to do is I want to enter inside that directory. So I'm going to use CD command and I will say first program. So create a first program folder and then enter inside that folder. And as you can see, this path of my command prompt has changed. Now we are one folder deeper, so inside this first program folder. And what I want to do here is I want to say, please open my VS Code here, like this. So that is the command that you use, and now it should open VS Code inside this folder. Okay, perfect. Um, now what I want to do is I want to create a new file, and I want to do that inside this first 
program folder. So I will click um, new file here and then I'm going to name that file, for example, hello world. And then one very important thing is that you will need to use extension dot CPP because you will write source code. So you will write inside a file that has extension dot CPP. Okay, so hello world dot CPP. And here is our editor. And here we are going to write our C++ code. So let's create a simple hello world program. I will say include iostream. Okay, and then using and as you can see, immediately tab nine is offering the completion for this line. So using namespace std, and you can press tab in order to complete that command. And then int main, and here I want to say return zero. Okay, and if you see that code appears like magic on the, on the screen, that is because I'm just using tab in order to complete the lines that are offered by tab nine. And here I just want to say C out and then let's say hello. Okay, it is offering already hello world. So I'm going to uh, select that. So after we have written this very simple hello world program, I want to show you how you can compile it and run it using VS Code. So in order to compile this program, you will click on terminal and then here run build task and it should offer something like this. And here you are going to select your compiler. So make sure to select G++, so this one. Okay, and then here it says that build finished successfully. And then if you noticed here, it created an additional file, which is hello world.exe. So this is your executable file. This is your application. So in order to run this file, I'm going to open my terminal again, and we are positioned inside this first program folder. So this is one folder beneath this hello world.exe. So now in order to run this hello world.exe, what you need to do is just type hello world.exe, so not CPP. This is one way. And then you can also say um, dot, and then you can use this backslash. So dot backslash hello world.exe. And if I press enter, as you can see, it says hello world. Okay, so that is how you compile and run your program using VS Code. Now let me show you how tab nine uses artificial intelligence in order to help you to code faster. So let's create a variable of type string and let's call it fruit, for example. And here I want to assign a value of, let's say letter A and then letter P. And as you can see, it is offering me a fruit called apple. And that is probably because it reads that the name of the variable is fruit and then it knows to offer a fruit that starts with letter A and then letter P that I typed, so an apple. Okay, now let's create another uh, variable. Let's make it an array called fruits and it will be array of five strings, for example. And here I want to assign different values. So uh, it already offers apple as a first value for my array. And then let's say here, for example, orange and then um, let's say P E. Okay. It's offering peer. And then, uh, for example, strawberry. Okay. S T R. And then it is offering strawberry and let's say, for example, ba banana. Okay. Perfect. And now let's write out all of these, um, elements of my array. So I will say four and then int I is equal to zero. And then I is less than five, I plus plus. Again, if you see code appearing very fast, that is because I'm using tab in order to complete what tab nine is offering. So I will say C out and then fruits of I and let's add end line. Okay, and let me show you one more time how you can compile this program. So make sure to save everything and then go to terminal. Okay, terminal and then run build task, select G++ compiler. And when build finishes successfully, what you can do is you can run this program in your terminal. So you can say hello world dot 
exe or you can use this approach here so when i press enter as you can see our program works as expected okay one very important thing that i want to mention related to tab 9 is i know that a lot of people will be concerned about privacy and security of their code and this is very important for me personally because i work with very sensitive data and basically when i started working for my company i had to sign a contract that states that i cannot work for another company from the same industry for two years after I stopped working for my current company and that is because all the algorithms, all the code and data needs to be very very private so they are probably giving me two years in order to forget it or for them to change it, I don't know. <laughs> but basically I had to do a very good research about Tab9 and I would say that all the code that you write stays private and secure so you don't have to worry about that. Again, I will put a link in the description that you can use in order to read more details yourself. So that is what I wanted to teach you in this video, how you can set up and use VS Code in order to write C++ programs and all the details that you will need will be in the description. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm that helps me a lot to reach more people and teach them programming. And then if you have any questions or if you have suggestions for my future videos, you can put those in the comment section. I made this video because some of you asked me to show you how you can use VS Code to make C++ programs and then also let me know in the comments which one will you use from now vs code or visual studio so thank you very much for watching and i am going to see you in some other video bye